and that is because I have a Zoom audition today, which is so crazy. I've never done a Zoom audition before, so I am a little bit nervous, but I'm very excited to just get back to doing what I love and just, I don't know, just like finally doing something. The quarantine and like in the beginning of the year, you know, when all of this first happened was like really crazy because I was so afraid that I wasn't going to get to do things. And of course that proved to be true. And the shows I had planned for this year all just went down the drain, unfortunately. But now I have a Zoom audition today. I'm so excited. So I decided to just vlog the day and take you guys on my journey with me. So it is currently about 10 o'clock. I woke up way later than I wanted to. I wanted to be up by eight today so that I could get a head start on my day, which even that is late compared to like what time I used to get up before COVID completely ruined my sleep schedule. I used to wake up between five and six every morning. And now I am a train wreck who sleeps until like one in the afternoon, literally like every single day. So at least we didn't do that today, but um, I do have some stuff planned that I have to do before the audition. The audition's not till four, so we do still have some time. And by things that I have planned, I just mean like eat breakfast and take a shower and do yoga. So stuff like that. But we're going to go ahead and get started with that. I'm just going to quickly brush my teeth and then I'll just show you guys what else I do in my day leading up to an audition. All right. So it's been a little while since the last time I talked to you guys. It's been a, uh, like an hour and a half. I haven't done really much. I just caught up on some homework. I'm in a new class this month, so I was just trying to get a head start on that so that I did not fall behind. I graduate this year, so like the end of this semester, I am officially graduating with my bachelor's in communications, and I'm so happy to finally be done. So I just wanted to make sure that I am not going to fall behind and mess myself up. So yeah, that's what we were doing, and now I'm about to finally do some yoga. So Let's go. We're going to go do some yoga. How fun. <laughs> All right, so I just got done doing yoga. I didn't really do it for very long today. I did it for like 10 minutes. It's always so hard doing yoga with my dog. He just always walks right on my mat, lays directly there. He's the love of my life, but he drives me nuts when I'm trying to do yoga or some type of exercise in the morning. Um, so it's like almost 12 now. I'm really not hungry for like food food. So I think what I'm gonna do is just make a cup of coffee and then do some like devotionals. Um, I was going to do some Bible study this morning, but I think I'm just going to do like a guided journal based on scripture. So that way I can kind of like really get my thoughts out in like a uniformed way. And then we're, we'll see what goes from there, but I'm just going to make some coffee right now because I'm really, really craving some coffee. So, okay, that's it for now. <laughs> All right, so I'm officially done my devotionals or my 
guided journal scripture notes if you want to be specific um, and I am so happy that I did that because that and yoga are two things that were always part of my daily morning routine but like I said in the beginning of this video my sleep schedule has been so off and since I've been sleeping in so late I just haven't done it and I'm just so happy that I took the time to do that today because just kind of reflecting on scripture and relaxing by doing yoga really makes me just feel comfortable and confident going into something like an audition so I'm so happy that I did that and that is something that I definitely recommend if you are going to be auditioning for something then I just recommend finding things that make you feel comfortable you know I encourage you to do the things that make you feel relaxed so that when you go into the audition you're feeling at your best self so I'm so happy I did that today and I'm just so comfortable now I'm just I'm very happy that I did that and now I'm going to go take a shower because it's getting kind of late and I do have to start getting ready soon and then I'm going to eat something because all I have was coffee and I'm feeling very hungry now so <laughs> let's go take a shower and I'll check back in with you in a little bit okay hi friends so we are out of the shower I know I have the same sweatshirt on that I was wearing earlier but I only had it on this morning so it's like not dirty or anything um, so I just threw this back on because right now I am going to eat I wanted to make something healthier today and like sustaining and just something good but I really have like no food in the house right now so we're eating some ramen and that's just gonna have to do so I'm making that now because now it's like after two so I'm realizing that I'm running a little bit late now well I wouldn't say running late but like now I have like no time to spare I have to you know stay right on track so I'm gonna quickly eat and then I have to do my makeup and then I'll do my hair, which I'm probably not gonna film myself doing either of those things just because I'm not the best at filming myself like getting ready. So I probably won't be filming that, but I'll show you the finished product once everything is done. I'll show you the final look. And then I have to pick out my outfit and I have to set up my, lo like my location where I'm gonna be. So I'll show you guys that and I'll talk a little bit more about that once I'm actually setting it up. But that's all the stuff that I have to do. So while my food is cooking, I'm just gonna run my lines a little bit. There's no singing involved in this. This is just an acting audition as far as I know. So I am just going to run my lines a few times. I have a little script that I have to go off of. So I do have that memorized, which I think is a plus. I do recommend memorizing your script if you can, if it was kind of like last minute and you can't really memorize it. Then I do just recommend having it on hand, but since this is zoom and you want to be looking into the camera as much as possible so that you're really making that connection and making eye contact virtually with the casting director or the agent or whoever is going to be on there with you i recommend if you have to pull the script up to have it like right by the camera so that you're not really breaking that connection with the person who's going to be watching you do your audition but think like i said thankfully i do have mine memorized so i am just going to be running that a few times and i think i'm going to do some vocal warm-ups like i said I, this isn't a singing audition but just in case something happens to come up i want to be ready vocally just just to be ready and also warming up vocally through song also just makes me feel limber and more comfortable speaking as well so yeah i'm just gonna do that and practice a few times and then i also have to figure out my location um, I know I said we have to do that, but I need to like really think about where I want to be sitting because I do recommend like a clear background. So we have a few more things to take care of before the audition starts at four. And I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me on all of those things, except like I said, getting ready because I'm not the best at filming myself just getting ready. If it's not like an intentional like makeup or hair tutorial video, which I can't even say hair tutorial because I'm terrible at doing my hair. If it's not an intentional makeup tutorial video, then I'm really bad at filming myself getting ready. So I'm gonna go eat, take care of those things, and then we'll check back in in a little bit to update you guys on what's going on and kind of check in right before the audition happens. So see you soon. Alrighty friends, so hair and makeup is done. I just went with like a neutral kind of makeup and I just put a little bit of like wave into my hair just to give it some texture and dimension. It's 350, well 349 technically right now. So we have just about 10 minutes left until the audition starts. So I'm going to log on to the audition at like 355. So that way it shows that I can be, you know, not only on time, but a little bit early. Um, I do have my like zoom set up right here. I just was like prepping to see what the lighting and everything looked like. I do have my ring light on. I don't know if you, there you go, there you can see it. And I'm just sitting on a chair. I picked out my outfit. I just went with like a neutral color. I recommend just choosing a neutral 
kind of outfit when you're doing something like this. Usually for auditions, you just want to keep it simple, keep it plain. Um, I usually go with a green because it does complement my eyes. I have like a bluish gray eye color with like specks of green in it. So either wearing like a bluer green shirt typically complements my eyes. So I usually go with either one of those. And yeah, so now I'm just running my lines last minute one more time just to make sure I'm ready. I'm going to grab a bottle of water just because, you know, when you're nervous, sometimes you're mouth can get a little bit dry so I just want to have a bottle of water with me in case I need it and yeah so I am just going to run my lines one or two or three or four or five more times <laughs> say a little prayer and then just get ready because we are almost there so I will let you guys know how it goes and yeah also I did choose a neutral background I think that's also important when it comes to clothes or background anything like that when you're doing something like a video audition or something I just think that having, you know, the least amount of distracting things going on, the better, because then the attention and focus can really be on you. And you want that to happen more than the attention being on like a distracting logo or print or some type of like cluttered background. So yeah, that's that. And like I said, I've never done a Zoom audition before. Um, I've done a Zoom production before, but it was mainly with just like someone that I already know. So she kind of like knew my skill set and stuff and was able to place me into a role that way. But this is my first ever audition through Zoom. So I'm excited to see how it's going to go. I'm not really sure what to expect. Honestly, I don't know how it's going to happen. So yeah, I'm going to grab my water and get ready. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but like it's all good nerves, it's like excited energy. So I cannot wait to see how this is going to go. Wish me luck and I will check in with you guys as soon as it's done. You guys, I just finished my audition and if you can't tell by the expression on my face, it went so well. I'm so happy that I was able to do this today and take part in such a cool and unique experience. Auditioning through Zoom is interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was, it like started off like kind of like an interview and then went into the commercial. So I kind of like asked, I was like, do you want me to do the commercial? <laughs> just because I wasn't sure if it was just going to kind of be like the interview process and then that was it and the commercial was going to take part at like a different time or a different day or something. So I was just like, she was like, do you have any other questions? And I was like, yeah, I was just wondering if you want me to do the commercial I prepared. <laughs> it was so fun. I loved it so much. It was such a great experience. And like, I just feel like the relationship was really natural and it really just clicked. So I'm really excited. I feel like this is going to be a really, I just feel like this is going to be a really great experience for me. And just, I feel like it's going to open a lot of new doors that are going to really kind of, um, just like could possibly potentially be life altering. That's all. <laughs> but no, seriously, I really feel like this was a great opportunity for me. And I feel like it can really be the beginning of something amazing. So, oh, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that maybe I gave you some insight into how an audition through Zoom went. If you guys want a more just kind of like sit down polished video about tips and tricks for auditioning through Zoom or just any other details about my experience that maybe perhaps I left out and you realize you have a question about, anything like that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to make that type of video for you. Honestly, I'll probably make it even if no one asks me to just because thinking back on it, I'm realizing that there's probably a lot more I can share and I just don't have like the mind capacity right now to think about every single thing or tips and tricks that I may not have mentioned. And also once I watch this back and edit it, I'll probably realize something that I left out about the experience or whatever. So if that's something you guys wanna see, let me know. But if not, that video will probably be coming soon anyway. I do hope that this video though by itself did help you. If it did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel on the way out. You guys already know. And I appreciate that so much. You guys know how much I appreciate that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.